Now, hey guys, welcome back to the channel and another Swiss 01 video. Now, guess what kind of airport we're approaching? Yes, of course, you can already kind of tell, I guess. This is Area 51. Yes, we're in the Nevada desert. And we are indeed approaching Homey Airport, also known as Area 51. Something is wrong with this A320. It's not flying properly. Oh, Jesus. It's not flying at all, actually. This is probably the aliens that have some influence on this flight. I'm pulling up all the way. I'm giving a lot of power, but this plane, it is still falling falling down to earth. There it goes. It's kind of fixed now, isn't it? This airport is known for being very bizarre, obviously. There's a lot of stories behind it. A lot of people say that there's aliens there or that there have been aliens kidnapped at the airbase. I honestly don't think so, but you know, everyone for themselves. But let's just uh, agree on one thing, and that is that the Earth is uh, round and not flat, okay? That's all I need. Actually, we are in multiplayer right now, which is why there are some more players here just cruising around Area 51. I mean, why not? And uh, we are about to land here in this A320. What is this red barrier in front of the runway? I've never seen that. <laughs> so interesting. Oh, this plane's falling down again, just like at the beginning. I don't want to crash into this barrier. There you go. Now we're actually landing on the closed runway of Area 51. Yeah, Area 51 used to have two intact runways. I guess one of them have been closed now, judging by the signs here. All right. Oh, now there's another player here, a Cessna 172. That's just... Uh, cruising around. Now, what would happen if you actually were to fly to Area 51 in real life? Obviously, you uh, would be chased down by a fighter jet. Because obviously, here at Area 51, this is a no-flying zone. And I think this actually goes for a 50 nautical mile radius or something. It's quite large. And once you fly into that, you get chased down uh, and escorted out of the area. Or shot down if you don't uh, cope with the fighter jets, I guess. I mean, that would obviously be the last result resort but yeah i do wonder if you actually were to declare an emergency though you would maybe even get access to land at area 51 right i mean i don't think it would be illegal then to land here but that's another story we're obviously here for a reason and uh you know since we're at such a strange airport let's ch check out some strange planes yes we've been doing that a lot recently here in the newly released microsoft flight simulator 2020 we still get more and more add-ons added every single day and uh, you know we don't want to miss out on anything of this so uh, let's just jump right in we've got some very interesting planes. Well, it's not really planes. Oh, uh, first of all, we've got the UFO that I was trying to convert from FSX to Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. It didn't work. Uh, the plane is invisible. It's not good. But what we do have actually here is uh, something like a blue whale or uh, Appa. I think that's from Avatar, like the anime series. I don't know. I don't really remember my childhood that well, but I think it is. I know this character from somewhere. Let's go ahead and uh, spawn in here. All right. Welcome to um, Flight Simulator 2020. Now, the funny part actually is that we actually show up as this uh, character here to all the other players in the multiplayer, right? I think actually so. That is very interesting. Let's see how this thing flies. This time around, I think this has actually got a jet engine now. I think I can hear jets. So that's good. I have a jet powered thing. I don't know. It doesn't look terrestrial, does it? Okay, come on. We need to take off eventually as well. Ah, there we go. It's uh, it's actually taken flight. This is not particularly realistic. The, this, this one doesn't have wings, apparently. But it does fly quite nice, doesn't it? Something I'm noticing about Area 51 here is definitely that there are a lot of lights. Like, a lot, a lot of lights. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Why would there be so many lights? I mean, obviously, to spot all the aliens or all the people trying to break into the area. I mean, honestly, though, I, I'm pretty sure you could somehow sneak in, right? Like, if you really stayed under cover and something through the mountains like they cannot track everything right if you stayed close to the ground you could somewhat make it right but you probably shouldn't shouldn't do it right <laughs> not a good idea i wonder if anyone has ever gotten shot here at the base for entering uh because apparently they do that okay now we've actually crashed into one of the buildings okay you damaged your landing gear i think it was more than that but whatever uh, we've got some more interesting planes that I found to check out. I mean, we've also got a blue whale. I think that one is gonna be quite large, isn't it? I mean, blue whales are like the largest whales that there are. Also the largest animals that there are or something, I guess. All right, blue whale at Area 51. Let's do this. Okay, this thing is so large that it won't even show up on, on the camera. That's what she said. Uh, let's actually use the drone camera because otherwise we won't be able to see this thing. I hate this flight simulator sometimes. You know, it's things like the drone camera, they just 
don't work properly. I cannot control it. And that's only sometimes. It's just completely weird. Now, can we somehow zoom out or something? No, we cannot. But yeah, this is a, a flying whale. Let's see how well it actually does fly. I mean, this one for once has a, you know, some kind of wing, right? God damn it. Yeah, I mean, you know, again, this does have a little bit of a wing surface, right? So if we went fast enough, this could maybe work <laughs> in real life. Yeah, I don't even want to know how much this thing weighs, actually. I mean, we are literally almost larger than the runway. This might be the largest object that I've ever flown here in the Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. This is really huge. And there we go. We, uh, I think we have taken off. Come on. Nice. Very nice. Oh, it doesn't fly that nicely, though. Oh! God damn it, blue whale's dead again. All right, let's let me try a thing that actually does fly. Uh, we've got a dragon. That's quite nice, isn't it? Let's actually fly through New York City with a dragon. All right, dragon. <laughs> Oh, this is so dumb. All right. I like how silent these new uh, add-on planes are. You know, all the, all the older ones, they used to actually use, like, propeller engines. This one is nicely silent. We're just cruising around New York City, and the FPS is definitely not good. Yeah, my computer is definitely not enjoying this flight. Oh, no, building. All right, that was genuinely close. Jesus Christ. Right, this is actually quite a nice race, and we've crashed. God damn it. <laughs> Overstressed the aircraft. It was not even a building that we hit. It was the aircraft that we overstressed. Jesus Christ. Now let's try this race again. This was actually quite interesting. Ah, oh, god damn it. Now we have spawned into Kennedy International. Let's go to <laughs> New York City. There we go. Luckily we have cheats these days, right? Oh, is that even New York City? Is that? What city is that? It is New York City, isn't it? All right, it's not loading in properly. This looks uh, very interesting anyway. I didn't think this is what New York City actually looks like when you played on the minimum graphics. You know, if your PC sucks. By the way, if you want to play Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 on a not good PC, then I have a solution for that and that is to come in a few days but let's uh and we've totally crashed now but luckily we cannot you know technically crash here in the flight simulator we can do whatever we want ah building all right dragon dead all right now a little bit of a stunt maybe there we go we're coming in let's pull up pull the loop yeah this is actually quite nice isn't it I've already said this, this is probably using some kind of, I guess, a, uh, a jet engine as a propulsion system, which uh, does work quite well, doesn't it? I mean, again, it's super quiet, it's super nice. Sneaking through the houses here, that didn't work. Actually, that was actually not too bad. Oh, oh, this was super close. Actually, this is way more fun than it actually should be, right? We've crashed again. All right, I guess this is some kind of park. And now through the narrow streets of New York. I mean, now we've crashed into them. What was this supposed to be? Actually, considering here the graphics, my PC is doing quite nicely, isn't it? Yeah, the dragon isn't. Let's try uh, maybe another type of plane. <laughs> I mean, none of the planes today are pl actually planes, but, you know, somewhat flyable things or not even flyable things. I mean, does a blue whale fly normally? I don't think so. I mean, I haven't seen one so far, but let's uh, try another thing. Um, what's this? I don't know. Flap turn. I have no idea what this is, but it does fly, and it does have a propeller engine, even though I cannot see a propeller, which is against science. There's a huge H&M building here in New York, apparently. That's very interesting, and we're going super fast. Oh, very close to hitting of that building there, and now we've definitely hit that something. Yeah, what the hell is this actually supposed to be? I don't know. And honestly, I don't really care enough to find out what this is either. So let's move on. What do, what do we have here? Is there something else that's super interesting? I hope so. Oh yeah, we've actually got an Imperial shuttle that uh, has moving parts now. So maybe let's fly that one around New York City. Because that is uh, New York, isn't it? Uh, what the hell is this again? I mean, this for now is actually some kind of aircraft that is... Uh, I mean, this is more of a spacecraft, isn't it? Again, we have a pretty new jet engine in here. And that was actually quite a nice stunt that was very close to hitting that building. Yeah, this is actually quite nice, isn't it? Something that's definitely missing, though, is a proper cockpit. And that's actually what I have to say about all these add-on planes. They don't have a proper cockpit. They're not even, like, proper models. I mean... They wouldn't even fly in MFS 2020 if you really try to rebuild them here as a developer. You would definitely need <laughs> some kind of lifting surface, obviously, which this one does not have either. And yeah, that's uh, that's all that is to it. So yeah, guys, thank you for watching today's video and I'll see you tomorrow. As always, good night.